Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. Today is December 13th, 2019. This is a general love reading for the second half of the month for the sign of Gemini. Because this is a, a general love reading, it can apply to any kind of relationship you're dealing with, romantic or otherwise. It can also apply to situations or circumstances that you're dealing with. Be flexible with the energy. Do not be concerned about the gender of the cards or the pronouns that I'm using to describe them. You can interchange the roles within the reading. In other words, you might be represented by any one of the characters that shows up in the cards. You might feel like I'm reading for you, but you could also feel like you're cross-watching for somebody that you're dealing with. As always, take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. My intention is to reach as many people as I can who need the message the most and who will benefit the most from the message. So I want to give this deck a couple more shuffles, Gemini, and then we'll get started. I've had a bunch of false starts with this video already. The animals are demanding attention. Sylvester is likely to make his way up here. The last time I started your video, he was sitting on my lap, which was fine, but then he sneezed. He has um, chronic issues with his nose, and so he often gets congested. And, you know, we give him nose drops and stuff for that. But when he gets congested, he sneezes and he gets the full-on stringy snot that comes out of his nose. So the, the last video I tried to start for you, he sneezed on my chair and on the table. And I had to clean that up and start again. So um, I'm just going to take that as a sign that I didn't shuffle well enough. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and give these cards a cut, see what's going on for Gemini. In your underlying energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, paired with the Six of Swords in reverse. The Tower in reverse, with the Nine of Wands. Star in reverse. The Nine of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this is a pretty clear general message from this first set of eight cards. Um, you're feeling stuck, stagnant, no movement, feeling like you can't move. You may have tried to move on from a situation, but you found that you, you can't. Um, I feel like you're, you've been working towards maybe a hope or a dream or a wish that at this point in time, you feel like you've lost hope for it because of this lack of movement or inability to get it going. You're still fighting it. But there's a considerable amount of grief that you're dealing with because you have some internal conflict regarding maybe a, the loss of hope in regards to this dream that you want to manifest into your life. So that's what I've got so far from this first set of cards. Um, it's not feeling very good, Gemini. So let's, let's see what else we get for you with this next set. See what other information comes up for you. You're still fighting this. You're still battling this. You haven't given up. You've lost some hope. You're grieving. You have some conflict you're dealing with in your head, but you haven't you haven't stopped fighting for this. Okay, so clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Fool. And clarifying the Six of Swords in reverse, you have the High Priestess. Four of Swords is clarifying the Tower. The Nine of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Swords. The Star in the upright position is clarifying the Star in the reverse. I love when this happens. You know me. If you've watched my channel before, I get a kick out of that. So there is hope after all. Well, if you're still fighting for it, obviously there's still some hope. 
You're fighting for the truth. You know the truth is out there and you're fighting for it. It's going to come out. We have the Three of Pentacles, clarifying the Nine of Cups. The Five of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Cups. And the Five of Wands in reverse is clarified by the Hermit. Okay, so you're dealing with some grief and confusion surrounding a situation that feels like it's going nowhere, an opportunity or a new beginning. It feels like there's some kind of new, something you want to take a risk on, something that you want to try or move toward, but there's, right now you're stuck. Um, it, it feels like you're stuck right now, but there is a sense of hope because um, your intuition is telling you to keep fighting for this. That there is some kind of clarity or truth coming out in regards to this matter, but you just have to put some more thought into it. You haven't, you haven't um, maybe planned enough or put enough thought into this matter yet, but you're still fighting for it. You lost hope in the past and then regained hope. This feels like it could be a new job. Or something that you're brand new at, um, a new, it could be a new business, something that you're trying to get off the ground. And again, um, it's a stop and start, start, start and stop, stop and go type of feeling. You've lost hope and regained hope, restarted it, still moving forward towards the stream. You're fighting for it. You know it's right for you, but there's a lot of grief and confusion also surrounding this this opportunity or sorry, I gotta put my cards back right. Um, dealing with some grief and some sorrow, maybe there's been some bumps along the way or some things, some disappointments, and you're um, going inward about that, trying to deal with this internal conflict. Maybe you're trying to stay positive so you're not really you're putting on a brave face, not really showing that you're dealing with this inner conflict because this feels like a strong dream or hope that you have that right now is just um, at a standstill for you. So let's get some more cards out here and see what else we can get for you, Gemini. This could be something, this could be a new opportunity or new job that you've started. I feel like you've already gotten involved in it. You've already got, kind of gotten it off the ground, but it's brand new still. So this could potentially be like a little starter business, a little startup business that you've you've got going and maybe it's not as profitable as you had hoped at the beginning or maybe things didn't um, work out exactly as you had planned um, or perhaps you've lost some hope in the past because you didn't get enough funding for it or you didn't have the resources or the right connections something of that nature and um, just this feeling like you're brand new at this or having a sense of confusion, not knowing where to turn sometimes, not knowing which direction to take has definitely put you in a state of, of grief. Um, feeling like you might lose this. But I think that you know that this is the right, right direction for you to go. I think you know this is right for you. So you're not, you're not, you're not giving up on this. All right, let's see what else we get for you, Gemini. So we've got the Five of Swords in reverse, clarifying the page of, or the Knight of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Again, that uh, that's all about fighting this mental anxiety, um, feeling like you've had these bumps in the road, obstacles getting in your way, feeling like you're having to start over.
Eight of Swords in reverse. There's the Five of Cups again, this time in the reverse. The Hierophant in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Magician in reverse. And the Ten of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> So we have the Ten of Pentacles on the table, clarifying the Nine of Cups. This is in the reverse. Your, your wish, your dream, whatever this is for you, feels like maybe it's gotten in the way of some relationships or caused some disruption within a family unit. This could also indicate marriage or a um, relationship of longevity, something that you've built upon. Um, whatever this is for you, it's caused some disruption within a family or group dynamic. Um, because of that, you've lost hope thinking, okay, this isn't right for me. Um, things aren't going smoothly, so it's not, it's not the right direction for me. I need to let this go. But you're holding on to hope because even with this disruption or conflict within maybe a group or family dynamic, you still feel this is right for you. I think you're, you're feeling stuck still. You want to get out of feeling trapped by having to rethink your motives, maybe rethink your plans. When you have obstacles that get in, in the way, you have to go back, like I said, to square one and maybe try it in a different way or try something new. I do feel like in the past, maybe you've been dealing with some manipulative people who've caused you some grief and sorrow and maybe um, caused you some confusion or set you off on the wrong path. Um, maybe sh giving you too many options or you might feel like you don't know what to do because you have all of these different options to move in different directions and again it's it's all about working through this in your head a lot of anxiety a lot of conflict that you're having to feel I feel like you're having to deal with this on your own you may not have a lot of support especially from um, people who feel like whatever this endeavor is for you it's caused disruption so you might not have a lot of um, support and the Page of Cups, clarifying the, the Fool. And the Knight of Pentacles, clarifying the High Priestess. Temperance, clarifying the Four of Swords. There's the High Priestess again, clarifying the Ace of Swords. The Lovers, clarifying the Star. Nine of Cups clarifying the Three of Pentacles, which is clarifying the Nine of Cups. Ace of Wands in reverse, clarifying the Seven of Cups, and Death clarifying the Hermit. There's a big sense that you want to get out of your head, that you want to stop thinking about this, that you've done enough thinking. You've come to terms with what you want and how you want to get there, but you're being pushed back into this mode of having to rethink this dream or hope that you have. It feels like a solitary um, wish or dream. It feels like something you're doing on your own. There, like I said before, I feel like there may be people surrounding you, close family members and and people like that who are um, unhappy about this or feeling like it's not the right thing for you, but you have some kind of connection. We have the Lover's Page of Cups, some kind of connection, it might be recent, might be new, that is, that is um, bringing hope back into the situation. 
So we have the moon. Let me get the rest of these out and we'll look at them closer. We have justice in reverse. Page of swords. Five of cups in reverse. For the third time, it's also clarifying a set of cards that has the five of cups in reverse. We have the king of wands. <clears throat> The Five of Swords in reverse again. The Hermit again in the same set of cards with the Hermit. And the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, Gemini. So the King of, King of Wands, this is somebody that you're dealing with that has brought hope back into the mix. This is somebody who's significant in your life. It may or may not be a romantic partner. I don't necessarily believe that this is a reading for a romantic reading. Um, but this certainly could be someone who's entering into your life, who's brought some hope into the situation. The King of Wands is somebody who's ambitious, somebody who's a natural born leader, someone who takes action where action is needed. This is somebody you can rely on to be um, to to be the person that will, like I said, take on responsibility, but can also delegate responsibility to others. Um, this person does not shy away from doing what's needed to get done, and this person has has been significant to you in that they have given you a little bit of more hope where hope was lost in the past. I do feel like you're you're battling some um, anxiety. There might be some mind games going on here uh, within other people who are close to you, including family members. In regards to the situation, they might be trying to kind of um, dissuade you from moving forward with this. Maybe making you feel confused that this isn't what you really want. Or maybe making you feel like at some point in time, I do feel like there's been um, people maybe talking in your ear telling you you don't have what it takes to make this happen. And this is going to end up being a lost opportunity or missed opportunity. Or it's going to slip out of your hands because you just don't know which direction to go or there's too much confusion or too many options or too many things not going your way. And right now I feel like that's your biggest um, battle is battling the sense that, it's, that things aren't going at the pace that you would like them to or that you've got people kind of standing in your way or, or trying to keep you from moving forward with this. And I think that a lot of a lot of your um, a lot of what's kept you back is the heartache that's been caused by the people that are closest to you because you're having to go inward and deal with this internal conflict over and over and over again because there's too many people giving you the sense that there's this lack of hope. And they're the people that should be the ones who are giving you support and cheering you on. I don't have anybody else's energy on the table except this King of Wands, who is not you. You know in your heart, you know, you know what the truth is. You know that this is right for you. You have the High Priestess in, in your reading twice. Um, you could be a very intuitive person. Maybe you're, you're starting a, a new business in the spiritual arts. Just going to throw that out there. You have the High Priestess with the Page of Pentacles. For me, the Page of Pentacles, I mean, this is about um, movement forward and making progress and doing what's necessary, taking, taking the high road. It might be slow going. You might be taking um, a longer route, but it's reliable. But it's also, for me, about spiritual growth. Um, and making progress um, inwardly. Making spiritual progress, spiritual growth, becoming a better person. 
And maybe these obstacles have forced you to do that before you can move towards your Nine of Cups. Your dream. Whatever this is for you, it's something that you're doing, like I said, on your own. This is something you want for yourself. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Moving towards something for yourself. Because like I said, this could potentially be something that um, gives you what you need to move forward in your own life so you can be a better person and eventually help others out, that kind of thing. So I feel like there's been a lot of unknowns. Again, maybe you haven't necessarily felt like you've had a lot of people on your side cheering you on um, throughout this, this endeavor and you've been having to take risks um, without knowing what's on the other side, without having a clear understanding of where you're going and just having to have a sense of, of faith that it's going to happen keeping the spark alive because it's it's your passion. It's what you want to do. But again, you the, the brakes have been put on because there's a stagnation. I do feel internal conflict. Again, people may be talking in your ear telling you you can't handle this or you can't do it. And your gut is telling you, I can move forward with this. I can take the reins and make this happen. Good for you, Gemini. The cards look positive for you. So you might be getting a lot of people talking smack and that kind of thing, or being those pricks who just, they're jealous, so what do they do? You tell them your dreams and your hopes and how you're making progress and this and that. All they can do is downplay it and talk smack behind your back. Oh. Gemini is trying, and they're never going to make that happen. What do they think they're doing? That's, they don't have what it takes. To, they don't have enough money. They don't have the connections. So I, I just feel like you're probably having to deal with that. And maybe it's because of people who just don't believe in what you're doing. Maybe they don't see the value in it. This King of Wands does. This Queen, King of Wands but could potentially, like I said, could be a romantic partner. Um, it could just be someone who has come into your life to help you along this path, help you reach your goals, be the one person who's willing to give you a little bit of hope in this situation. Ace of Air or One of Air. Love this card. This is the Ace of Swords. Um, it has a different meaning in this deck. My Dreams of Gaia Tarot, if you've been watching my channel. These cards are very different than traditional tarot, and I'm using them as kind of a closing for my readings. So again, you have the Ace of Swords in your reading, and I'm just showing the High Priestess because she was clarifying this card. And of course, you know, if you're familiar with uh, the general, the uh, traditional tarot meanings of the Ace of Swords, it's all about truth, it's all about clarity, it's about... Um, making clear, concise decisions, having a clear idea about where you want to go, um, truth, honesty, standing in your truth, victory. There's all kinds of meanings to the Ace of Swords, but it's a very positive card in general. So let's go ahead and find the Ace of Swords, Ace of Air in this deck. The meaning is about a page long. It's a little bit long, but I'm doing well on my time with this video. We're only at 24 minutes, so I don't feel too bad about that. So let's go ahead and I'll display the card while I read. Here we go. The Ace of Air symbolizes a new way of thinking. It suggests that it is now time to let go of old, outdated beliefs and ideas that no longer serve and make way for a new and independently formed personal ideology. It is time to unlearn and let go of ideas and opini opinions born of societal condition conditioning, inaccuracies, and false assumptions, and replace them with ideas born of self-awareness, fact, and genuine knowledge. 
It is also time to recognize both for what they are and learn to differentiate between the two. It, its appearance in your reading lets you know it is also time to honor personal truths that have, have foundation in your own experiences instead of embracing the truths of others and making them your own. To do otherwise is to wear an ill-fitting pair of shoes borrowed or stolen from another. While they may protect your feet, they will also pinch and rub and over time can do more harm than good. It is time to realize that to travel well and to go the distance, you need a pair of shoes that fit well because they are made for you specifically. It is the same with personal ideology. Your life experiences will offer lessons that impart both practical knowledge and wisdom. Objective analysis can provide insight and understanding that reveals how your life experiences, thoughts, and emotions influence all of your choices and the outcomes born of those choices. Your physical reality is first conceived within the mind. The Ace of Air is offering an opportunity to embrace new paradigms and patterns and to replace those that limit and restrict you. Now you can change your mind and in doing so change the way you make the choices that determine your direction and shape your reality. You can cut away all the cloud, clouds, judgment, and perception and that prevents you from knowing your true mind. Clarity will come with peeling away the layers of imposed dogma and beliefs born of past disappointments and hurts. The Ace of Air also symbolizes a time of feeling motivated and excited by the ideas in your head, your goals, and dreams because they are yours. It is time to take them and make them more. This marks the beginning of the individualization process we all must go through in order to realize our fullest potential. Wowza. That's all I have to say about that is wowza. I mean, it couldn't, it couldn't be clearer <laughs> that you are in the process of moving in the direction of your own path and there are people getting in your way because they don't see that Gemini, I'm gonna turn this one up right because it's appropriate. They don't see that Gemini is headed in the direction that's right for them and so they're downplaying what you're doing, Gemini, but I mean, look, look what you've got here, for goodness sakes, in your reading. And I'll admit, yeah, I turned this one upright, but I wanted to, for the sake of showing you these cards, which are slapping me in the face, and I've got more, but I can't hold any more. So here's what we've got. I mean, look at this. You are walking on a path of your own true destiny. You are marching to the beat of your own drum. You are seeking out what you want to do for your own life. And this energy is just exploding off of these cards. Can you see it? Can you feel it? I can. That is some powerful stuff right there, Gemini. Holy cow. And this card said it all. I think that you might be dealing with some inner conflict right now because you've got, again, you've got too many people telling you you can't, you can't, you won't, you won't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't. And Gemini is saying, fuck you. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I will. Yes, I should, and I'm doing it. I don't care what you guys think. I'm doing it. And you've got, sorry, I messed up my cards and I'm burying. You've got, you've got someone on your side. It's stick close to this person because this person is going to be your best friend in the coming, however long it takes you to achieve what, whatever it is you're going for because this is right for you, Gemini. Spirits on your side, they're pushing you forward too. So you don't just have this person in your corner, you've got spirit in your corner. So congratulations. I mean, you know, what more can I say about that? I hope that you enjoyed this reading, Gemini. I did, I thought it was really fantastic. So I wish you all the best, I wish you all the luck. I appreciate you watching my video and I hope I see you again sometime. Take care, bye Gemini.